Yechez ke el Ezekiel 21. And the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, set your face toward Yarushalayim, and drop your sword toward the holy places, and prophesy against the land of Yashadael, and say unto the land of Yashadael, Thus says Yahuwah, Behold, I am against you, and will draw forth my sword out of his sheath, and will cut off from you the righteous and the wicked. Seeing then that I will cut off from you the righteous and the wicked, therefore shall my sword go forth out of his sheath against all flesh from the Negev to the north. That all flesh may know that I, Yahuwah, have drawn forth my sword out of his sheath. It shall not return any more. Sigh, therefore, son of Adam, with the breaking of your loins, and with bitterness sigh before their eyes. And it shall be when they say unto you, Wherefore sigh you, that you shall answer for the tidings, because it comes, and every heart shall melt, and all hands shall be feeble. And every ruach shall faint, and all knees shall be weak as water. Behold, it comes and shall be brought to pass, says Adonai Yahuwah. Again the word of Yahuwah came unto me, saying, Son of Adam, prophesy and say, Thus says Yahuwah, Say, a sword, a sword is sharpened, and also furbished. It is sharpened to make a sore slaughter. It is furbished that it may glitter. Should we then make mirth? It contemns the scepter of my son as every tree. And he has given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hand of the slayer. Cry and howl, son of Adam, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Yashadael. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon Eth my people. Smite therefore upon your thigh, because it is a trial. And what if the sword contemn even the scepter? It shall be no more, says Adonai Yahuwah. You therefore, son of Adam, prophesy and smite your hands together, and let the sword be doubled the third time, the sword of the slain. It is the sword of the great men that are slain, which enters into their privy chambers. I have set the point of the sword against all their gates, that their heart may faint, and their ruins be multiplied. Ah, it is made bright, it is wrapped up for the slaughter. Go you one way or other, either on the right hand or on the left, whithersoever your face is set. I will also smite my hands together, and I will cause my fury to rest. I, Yahuwah, have said it. The word of Yahuwah came unto me again, saying, Also, son of Adam, appoint your two ways, that the sword of the king of Babel may come. Both two shall come forth out of one land and choose you a place. Choose it at the head of the way to the city. Appoint a way that the sword may come eth to Rabath of the Ammonim and to eth Yahudah in Yerushalayim, the defensed city. Rather, the defensed for the king of Babel stood at the parting of the way, at the head of the two ways, to use divination. He made his arrows bright. He consulted with images. He looked in the liver. At his right hand was the divination for Yahushalayim to appoint captains, to open the mouth in the slaughter, to lift up the voice with shouting, 
to appoint battering rams against the gates, to cast a mount and to build a fort. And it shall be unto them as a false divination in their sight, to them that have sworn oaths. But he will call to remembrance the iniquity that they may be taken. Therefore thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Because ye have made your iniquity to be remembered, in that your transgressions are discovered, so that in all your doings your sins do appear, because, I say, that ye are come to remembrance, ye shall be taken with the hand, and you, profane, wicked prince of Yah Shad'el, whose day is come, when iniquity shall have an end. Thus says Adonai Yahuwah, Remove the diadem, and take off the crown. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low, and debase him that is high. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it, and it shall be no more until he come whose right it is, and I will give it him. And you, son of Adam, prophesy and say, Thus says Adonai Yahuwah concerning the Ammonim and concerning their reproach. Even say you, the sword, the sword is drawn. For the slaughter it is furbished. To consume because of the glittering. While they see vanity unto you, while they divine a lie unto you to bring you upon the necks of them that are slain, of the wicked, whose day is come, when their iniquity shall have an end. Shall I cause it to return into his sheath? I will judge you in the place where you were created, in the land of your nativity. And I will pour out my indignation upon you. I will blow against you in the fire of my wrath, and deliver you into the hand of brutish men, and skillful to destroy. You shall be for fuel for the fire. Your blood shall be in the midst of the land. You shall be no more remembered, for I, Yahuwah, have spoken it. <laughs>